So I decided to do another review on the Logitech headset, G930 wireless headset. And I decided to do another review because uh, I've been using this for about, uh, I don't know, 3-4 months or something. So I can tell you exactly everything about it. Uh, first I have to say it's a very good headset. It's really comfortable. This uh, leather cushioning in here, that's very nice. It fits very nicely. The uh, microphone is very nicely built. And in general I like the looks of it. And here is the USB base. A uh, good side is that it only takes one USB slot. Most of the headsets it uses a charger and the wireless dongle, this receiver thing. So you need to use uh, two USB slots, but this one is a lot easier because you just plug this into your computer and then you plug this in here. So you have a connection just uh, by plugging this into your computer and this acts as a small USB hub. Also, the packaging is very good. You can uh, wrap these around here. It has these uh, tiny, tiny things in here that holds the cable in place. So it's uh, pretty nice in here. And that can sit on your computer or wherever. That is the charger cable. It's about 3 meters, uh, meters in total. Uh, from this USB end to this. Both of them 1.5 meter or something like this. And this here is a uh, micro USB, or actually micro data. I don't think it's uh, this end is even called a USB. As far as I know, it's just a uh, micro data to USB. And about the headset itself then. So uh, we have buttons in here. This here is a microphone uh, manual mute, which I really like. That you don't have to actually put the arm up like this. Most of the gaming headsets... If the microphone like this, it's unmuted. If you put the arm up, then it's uh, muted. However, this one has uh, manual mute and unmute. It also has a red light in here, which you can see if you have the headphones on. Red light comes on, showing you that the microphone is uh, muted, if you press this button. It's not connected to the computer. However, I can still turn it on. The on button is here. I, Yeah, it doesn't actually connect because the dongle is not on, so it's flashing. As you can see, this is the battery meter. It shows you if it's charged, charging, or whatever the status is. Uh, microphone that does actually work. You can see this uh, red light in here. So if you have the headset on, uh, something like uh, whoops, this. So you can actually see the light, how it uh, turns on if you press the button. And uh, I read some of the reviews myself and... Uh, People are saying that uh, it doesn't turn on, uh, but obviously these people are just uh, idiots, no offense, but you are an idiot if you don't know how to turn this on. It's not just press, people think that you have to press it. You don't press it, that's what it does. If you accidentally like uh, adjust your headset and just press on it, then it doesn't do anything. That's the thing, you have to hold it like this. Let me see, uh, show you how easy it is, you just hold it and it will turn on. It takes about uh, 3 to 5 seconds, something like this. So uh, people who are saying that uh, they're having uh, problems turning the headset on, then yes, these people are just idiots. It turns on just perfectly. And uh, no problems. So uh, let's move on. This here is the volume. And these buttons are programmable. You can make these buttons do uh, pretty much anything you want. Like you can control uh, media player. Or you can map some uh, other buttons in there, like uh, you can record a video. If you're like in a game, you just press this button to record a video, record audio, or anything you want. You can program these through the Logitech uh, interface. And also if you want to like store the headset, then it turns this way, so it takes less room. And to talk about the sound quality, I have to say it's very, very good. This seals off all the sound around you. It's very nice leather. It's very comfortable. Uh, microphone quality is very good. 
I will uh, put it to test so you can actually hear the difference. Right now the camera is also Logitech one which has actually pretty good sound too. It's a Logitech C910. Uh, it's a HD webcam which is also very good. Uh, in general I like uh, Logitech uh, stuff. They make very solid and good products. The build itself on uh, this is very solid. You can extend them from here. And it has it on both sides. So it uh, won't be like uneven like this or like this. It fits nicely. However, I do have a few bad things to say about this. Uh, first of them being it's a bit heavy. Well, not that it's uncomfortable. It's very comfortable. But uh, I think it's the shape. If you put it on your head like this, and then you lean your head a little bit backwards, it's going to just start sliding off, and it's going to go all the way off. So um, I don't know what's uh, causing it exactly. I think it's the balance of uh, this arm that sits on your head. It should be a little bit forward, but it's not. Well, it's not such a big issue, because uh, it's not like you're leaning your head backwards if you're, like, uh, gaming. So it doesn't bother me so much. But another thing uh, which does bother me a little bit is that uh, if you're using just the microphone and not the headset, for example, if I'm doing like um, reviews like this one, this is what I'm actually usually doing. I'm using this headset to record the sound when I'm doing a review. So the sound is always uh, near me and the sound quality will be perfect. But the problem is if you're not using your audio as uh, primary, if you're still using it on speakers, then the headset will automatically turn off after 10 minutes. Uh, you will hear a small click, but if you do miss that click, then uh, you might be ending up talking to yourself and not even knowing that you're not actually recording the sound. Uh, there might be some kind of workaround, but uh, I haven't actually checked. It's definitely not in the interface. Or maybe it actually is. I will check it later and show you the interface. But yeah, I've seen uh, other people saying the same thing, that it's very annoying if you just want to like make a review or just use the microphone and not the audio, then uh, the headset just turns off. But nevertheless, it's a very good headset. And I forgot one button in here, which is this one in here. Uh, this is like a slider. This uh, is a stereo sound and down is... Uh, surround and to talk about the sound quality itself the sound is very nice uh, especially in like uh, Arma 2 and Arma 3 you can uh, pretty clearly actually hear if a person is like behind you or in front of you or on the side well obviously on the side you can hear with a stereo but the surround effect is quite amazing I have to say the ambition sounds and everything is uh, pretty amazing. And the good thing about this is that it uses a USB. So you can use speakers and the headset at the same time. I was actually considering a Razer Tiamat 7.1 gaming headset. But the Razer connects straight into your motherboard. Which means that I have to... Uh, unblock my speakers every time I want to use it and that's just not an option for me because I'm using a 7.1 uh, speaker system which is by the way better than any of the headsets but the headset is very good if you're like um, playing a game where you need to use a microphone a lot because uh, if people are like uh, using the microphone too you won't hear them very well without the headset and it's also little bit better maybe in some games but I don't know I usually prefer the speakers but it's still a good headset and uh, I do recommend this it's very nice and uh, the last thing is the battery it holds about from let's say 3 to 10 hours it's extremely hard to say this is a question that you can't really answer because um, it highly depends how much uh, volume you're using. If you're like on high volume at all times, then uh, maybe you end up um, with dead battery in like three hours already. Maybe a bit more, but uh, I haven't really tested it to maximum. 
but in a normal conditions uh, like normal gaming and stuff uh, I've had it on for like about I don't know five or six hours before it runs out of battery I think that's pretty good However, you can uh, use the charger while you're playing so uh, as you can see it's here you can just plug the micro USB in there and it charges from it it doesn't do anything else it's not wired this is just a charger and it also takes quite long to actually charge it takes about uh, 10 hours to fully charge I think but uh, the longer it takes to charge the less it actually damages the battery while charging at least that's what uh, my experience is with all the battery powered products that the longer it takes to charge the longer the battery actually lasts I don't mean the charge time but the overall charges like if you can charge it 500 times or like 1000 times or something like this so it should be better and I haven't really noticed any decrease in these few months in battery uh, times so it should be good and there is another bad side that I don't like if you plug this in here that uh, micro USB charger you plug it in here right then this will end up going against your shoulder at all times so I'm a bit afraid that it might just uh, break the connection from here so what I'm thinking about is I wanna buy an L-shaped micro USB that goes on the side like this so this is uh, another bad side but in general I mean I guess you would be using it like this if you're a heavy gamer then uh, you always charge it you go to sleep, you put the char uh, charger on, you wake up and you have fully charged headset. Most of the computers keep the USB power on at all times, even if you turn the computer off. So it means you can still charge the headset while the computer is turned off. But yeah, so much of the hardware itself and uh, I will show you the software side and the quality of the microphone. Alright, this is the software itself. It says fully charged in here. That's the headset, how it looks like. You can actually click in these ones to go to the different screens, or you can just use these buttons in here. For example, if you click here, it shows you the sounds in here. These are like uh, sound effects you can use, presets. It's pretty cool stuff actually, but I'm not going to use it in here. Then uh, we'll go back home and we're not going to use these this time I'll just go from here through everything that shows you the programmable buttons you can uh, program it to choose like uh, different stuff uh, yes you can even edit them as you can see you can pretty much do uh, anything you want as far as I know even mouse functions, uh, text blocks uh, so as I said these are uh, fully programmable I haven't even gone through it completely, I think uh, you can even, uh, yes, you can do keystrokes, multi-keys, this means uh, macros. So you can use these like in some uh, MMOs to use as uh, free additional macros or anything you want in there. Might even put them uh, in use in uh, DayZ maybe, uh, I don't know. But let's move on. Here's the volume, microphone, side tone, space, stuff like this. forgot to mention that this headset has amazing bass actually. Really amazing. You can actually uh, feel the headset uh, pumping, like uh, the bass. It's amazing, like a uh, subwoofer on your head. And this is the surround. If I uh, pull this switch down, I mean not in here but on the actual headset, then you can see there we go, that's the surround effect, that's where the speakers are positioned well not the speakers but uh, it uh, virtualizes it, that's how you will hear it turn it off and that's the voice thing again, which I clicked in here we have uh, general settings in here and uh, there is also firmware version yeah, I don't think it actually has the power saving in here. It just has the warnings if the battery is low. Just beeps. But uh, yeah, it seems like it 
doesn't have this uh, automatic automatic microphone thing to turn it off so uh, but yeah that's pretty much the only problem so as you can hear the quality right now it's a bit better than the webcam quality I have to say and in general as I said it's an amazing headset really it has uh, everything you need for gaming so I strongly recommend this one and it's not uh, like ridiculously overpriced uh, it's about um, let's say about hundred fifty dollars or something like this normally so it's not uh, not too much for a gaming headset compared to like um, some of the headsets that uh, may cost you like three hundred dollars so it's quite good and I will have to say that this is actually a better headset than uh, some of these overpriced headsets but well everyone has their own opinion and uh, I strongly recommend uh, Logitech products it's really good stuff what they make really solid very good quality nothing to really com complain about except these uh, three things I mentioned but yeah in general it's a good headset so if you're looking for a good uh, gaming headset then uh, this is definitely the one you want to try out